Good morning, guys. Hello. <laughs> right, I I didn't know if anybody's out there, um, or if I'm just talking to myself this morning. So I thought I'd share. Yes, I'm in my onesie. Yes, I'm still in, I'm in my pajamas, but I have actually I had a shower and got cosy, and now I've decided to make some oat biscuits before I start making plum chutney. <laughs> oh dear, I've had a really strong coffee, but excuse me, I'm just gonna go get, I need orange juice, that would be a really good thing. Oh. Right, anyway, I'm back. So, I'm actually making some oat biscuits this morning and they're really easy. Um, I'm actually getting fed up with buying packs of biscuits. A, they cost too money, too much, and they don't taste very nice. And I always struggle. And I haven't slept tonight, last night, because I'm completely overwhelmed. I, I look like crap, and I'm so sorry. But I had to share. Um, I'm seriously, I'm still really excited about. Um, the fact that I've actually managed to pick up quite a few clients for my chutneys. Um, I think I'm more surprised than anything. Um, I just didn't think anybody would take me seriously. And, hang on, one minute, sorry. Oh, that's so nice. Right. Right, I feel much better now. Right, so, you've got me in my full glory. I haven't even put my makeup on. The only thing I've managed is my contacts. I haven't even done my, my hair because I'm waiting for my mum. Because um, bless my mum, she's going to come and braid my hair for me. You know, good old mummy. Um, she's got some lovely little treats for me. I'm such a child. Um, apparently, I am her baby. I may be um, 42 years old this year really um but i'm still when you have a black mummy i am still her baby and i will always be her baby anyway back to the biscuits right what we got here we have a mixture literally of oats i've put nuts um i've got some really nice mixed um cranberries yellow sultanas some normal sultanas um i really like that mix so what we've done oh and i'm using dark brown sugar because i want that caramel taste on the biscuits see we got somebody hey i don't know i apologize for the, the lack of makeup um this is me all natural um we're making biscuits so at seven o'clock in the morning so all I've got to do is what we've got in here. This is actually a mixture of butter, peanut butter, some syrup. Uh, what else did I put in there? That was about it. Oh, and a couple of spoonfuls of milk just to give it the flow. So what we're going to do, I've already done all of this this morning because I didn't want to bore you with putting it all in. Everyone could look up the ingredients for oat biscuits. It's up to you what you whack in it. I whack everything in it. I want them to taste good. I hope they do come out good. Anyway, so what we're going to do, the only thing you must make sure, I will actually agree with them on this. Please follow that bit. If you actually pour half the mixture in first, i put that to the side. And literally otherwise what happens is if sometimes um it can be too wet and too sticky uh and then you will be sort of you know and it just unbalances then you keep adding then adding more oh it's too liquid so we add some more and then it just goes like crap at the end of the day do it slowly it works you appreciate it anyway this is mixed quite nicely so, oh dear. Honestly, I reckon I'm going to crash later. Um, I'm, you know, 
Right, I'm on a high at the moment. We've got a bottle of wine in the fridge. I haven't done it for a while since I had my pub. And I was fancying before 12, a nice glass of rose. And the last time I did that was probably about 15 years ago. And it was normal. Just wake up and glass of wine. Coffee machine weren't working. What was I supposed to do? You know what I mean? I had a busy day. Right. This is actually looking quite nice. Alright, just bear with me for one minute. While I'm, I'm you know, I can't believe that. Let's see that. We're getting a nice consistency going. That actually smells nice. I've actually chucked some cinnamon in with mine. Yes, I do. I like cinnamon. I don't care if nobody else does. And my bloody biscuits. Be appreciative that you have one. You know. Um, seriously, guys, how are you? Anyway, what are you doing up this morning, this early? You know, it's craziness. Yeah, I'm surprised I can actually even speak or making sense. So, all right, look at that. Almost looks like a dough. All right, I'm gonna get just get a spoon. I need some. All right, what you want to do also? It says we're gonna make rounds. I'm going to, they, they're not going to quite be rounds, they're just going to look like nice biscuits that you can eat. Uh, I'm not really particularly care about having exactly round circles. I just want a biscuit. Um, what I tend to do, just put a little bit of the wholemeal flour in a pot for your spoons. When you uh, splodge it down, we're going to put the spoon in the flour and run it round. So we'll have some sort of round. Big rounds, small rounds, we'll see how we go. Let's get a spoon one minute. Oh. I reckon normally about that size. Love these spoons, they're great. Which is brilliant for this. You know what I mean? And seriously, they're as good as my Danelm ones. And they're literally, no difference. Solid. I don't care how much things cost. As long as they work, they do the job, and they're fine. I've got to show, oh, I've got to show you this. I'm serious. I'm like well chuffed with this. All right, I'm just going to turn you around for a minute. All right. It, like, seriously, the guys out there, they will find this funny, but I do love my DIY, and this is actually really good. Hang on. Uh, where we go? There we are. I couldn't find a button. Right, seriously. This is cracking. All right. I actually, I've had one of these for about two years and I was actually going to change the whole tap because I like the fact that you can spray and clean the whole sink. I Don't get me wrong, I do. Look, I love my cleaning, okay? I like things clean and tidy. And I got this, the first one I got for a pound from Wish and it lasted a year. I was well happy with that. It's like a, you know, a pet, you know. I was just sort of like expecting it to break within the first week. But then, Amazon. We do love a bit of Amazon. Two for a fiver. I could cope with that because I had it next day. Wish took far too long for a pound. Even though it was only a quid, it was still far too long. But seriously, I'm not being funny. How many times have you got stuff in the sink you want to put, you really want to put it on there? It could be a seller of these. And all you got to do is just pull the little thingy down. Oh, look, we got a nice little shower. Bloody hell, I couldn't believe it. I got this for, uh, for two of them. If it lasts a year, it lasts a year. Who cares? You know what I mean? It's done the job. Anyway, enough about me bloody tap. Hey. All right, back to the biscuits. <laughs> there we go. Back to the biscuits. Um, Honestly, I'd, it's little things like that that make life easier. It makes my life easier because instead of me trying to put my milk bottle or try to ram it down, I can actually, you know what I mean? It's just easy. Things don't have to cost a lot of money to make your life easier. You know? It's all about, it's not about making do, it's getting what you want, but you don't have to pay for the nose for it. I built my entire walk-in wardrobe, yeah, because I always wanted one. I've always had some sort of one, but this one I got to make, yeah? 
And I think the most expensive thing is in there uh, was my dresser. Uh, it was still under £100. I was very impressed with that. Um, the racking system I've got is amazing. I thought it was actually going to come out of the wall and collapse with my sort of 800 year old house. You know, everything else in here, every time I fix them up, breaks. You know, something else wants doing. Or oh, bloody do me windows in the front room. It's just ridiculous. Already double glazed the first one. Um, you wouldn't know, like for like, and all that. But I've got still got the other side to like get out. I'm just looking at that and I'm thinking, I'm gonna do that and something else is gonna go wrong with this house. You know? But that's what you get when you buy a flipping 800 year old house. Who buys an 800 year old house? Idiots and me. So, right, biscuits. Don't forget your grease proof. Good grease proof. I couldn't live without it. I use it for everything. Yeah, obviously, I love a bit of tin foil, but grease proof paper is so versatile in a lot of ways. And obviously, while I'm doing my chutneys, um, it is, obviously, I'm cutting my little tops out of this instead of buying them. Because again, Point in that, you'll always agree. Yeah, I'll roll a grease proof. Yeah, so now, yeah, all right. Oh God, I still can't believe I'm doing this. I didn't actually, I didn't want, I didn't want to inflict. Oh, I hate that cooker, right? I didn't want to like shock horror you this morning, but you know what? I thought I won't, and I want. Because I actually, this is me. If you don't like it, you just switch off. You know what I mean? Or leave, you know, I'm not watching that crack again. What the hell does she think she's doing? What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to build a business, right? With, and with 20 years experience when I did it 20 years ago, right? But I know a little bit more, you know? And yeah, it's made it a bit easier. And this time around, and the attitude I've got now is, go for it. If you don't give it a try, it's not going to happen. I had my first business at 21. And I actually looked, to be honest, it was, I, I loved it. I actually, and I appreciate everybody that uh, helped me with my business and taught me everything about my business. And I couldn't have done it without them. Um, but what I, what I did miss out was I missed out really the whole of my 20s, the fun part. So I had to do that in my 30s. At least you got to, I celebrated my 31st, like my 21st, but this time I had cash. No one had cash on his 21st. But then again, yeah, I didn't really have, you know, and not many people own, a, not many 21 year olds own a green grocer. So, so, you know. <laughs> anyway. Oh, enough about me. Uh, seriously, if anybody wants to ask me a question or anything, just put, I am, like, here, I am, you know, I do shut up now and again. Ask any of the photographers. Normally, they bring a ball gag, and I'm still, oh, 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 oh. you know, while we're trying to take a shoot. Uh, you know, it's, but never mind. Right, we got our dough mix. And uh, what we want is another spoon, actually. Oh, Jesus. Right. We got our mix. Literally, you're looking... Alright, I reckon about that. That's going to be fine. Don't worry, I'm going to show you when I put them on there. If they look alright, I mean. They look a bit edible. Seriously, these only literally take 15 minutes in the oven. They are so quick. Uh, the only thing you must do is when they come out the oven, just let them sit for about five to ten minutes before you move them off the tray. Otherwise, um, yeah, you will have a floppy doppy biscuit. And nobody likes anything a bit floppy doppy, do they? So, anyway, we like to keep everything up, happy, you know, we'll get on with these. Because obviously, I really don't want to bore you just by whittering on about crap. Um, I was actually just showing you that I'm actually a real person. I know a lot of you obviously have obviously have seen my other videos, um, but I look at them sometimes. Apart from that one I said about the chocolate log, I look like shit. 
seriously, my hair was all over the place. Don't know what was going on there. But normally, I am. I do like my wigs. I like my eyebrows. Because obviously, look at it. I've got nothing. What happened? You know? Uh, I didn't even pluck my eyebrows. I just got none. Well, I do know what happens. It's probably down, it's down to my, unfortunately, my health condition. And shut up, Tyson. Um, my, health, my health condition and my medication. Um, again, it's not something I talk about, but it's part of the reason I do what I do. Um, because I really don't care. And if I want to dress up and wear a brightly coloured wig and hand out strawberries to people, I will. If you want to take one, carry on. You know what I mean? Have a lovely day. Um, life's too short to be miserable. And the other thing I look at is somebody's always worse off than me. You know what I mean? It's like when some people are having a dig at me. Like I've had so you know, when people leave these little comments on your uh, on your posts, like, and you're like, where'd that come from? What is the point of that? Right? I'm gonna tell everybody, anybody who gets these little shitty ass, bloody snidey comments, yeah, for anything you do, and I mean anything you do, right? You got a balls to post it, fair play to you. Because the person that's writing that ain't got no balls and they ain't got no picture and they ain't got no guts. But do you know what all I do is go, oh that's lovely, thanks mate. I hit delete, I hit block, and the guy's and the person's gone. You know? They want to write nasty messages, they carry on. But all I look at is while he's writing me the nasty message, he's leaving poor some other poor bugger alone. You know? Because if you're concentrating on me, you're leaving that guy alone. So you, seriously, what is the point? I just don't get it. Why could just, if you don't like, just don't even comment, just turn it off. Yeah, you know, like, just bear with me one minute. Tyson, get off my sofa now. Get down. Seriously. My dog is like hell. Sir, honestly, his nickname is Damien. Oh, he, oh, he's going through the terrible twos at the moment. And it's like some rat-ass, bloody nasty teenager. He gives me lip, you know? Well, it's a dog. What am I thinking? Why am I trying to reason with my dog? You know? It's like when I'm, re you know, when people reason with their child. They're two. <sighs> you know? He's an animal. What am I doing? And you know I'm talking about you. Horrible little git. Anyway, back to the biscuits. They're coming along quite nicely, actually. I think I made them quite large. Oh. Um, I do like everything a bit large. But I do like things small as well, actually. You know, because sometimes, you know, like, have you ever had mini Jaffa cake and mini jammy dodgers? Right. I hate jammy dodgers, but a mini jammy dodger is a whole different ball game. You know, you don't feel naughty with one. And it's like my guilty pleasure. So, it's always, I'm not really a big lover of um, all the like sweets and chocolates and things like that. I've got, uh, I had a can the other day. Uh, first time ever, probably... Yeah, it's got to be at least 25 years that um, I had a sip of a uh, fizzy drink. My mouth was on fire. Good God, what the hell? How are people drinking that crap, man? I don't get it. All right, ser seriously, I thought my teeth were going to come out of my head. It was, oh, it was intense. Oh, it was just, oh, it's just awful. So that keeps me off a lot of crap. I'm not fussy, I just like things to be nice. And I'm sorry, but I like, when I go somewhere, if I can do something, I'm not saying I'm the best cook in the world. I'm not saying, yeah, look at me. Hey, check out more recipes. Um, no, I'm saying I just like to cook. I like to, I think I do it well, you know? I did have my own pub for 15 years and I did actually do all the cooking myself, right? Uh, it was a dull different ball game back then. I wouldn't even touch one now. What are they thinking anyone wanting in a pub now? 
You know what I mean? Too many rules and regulations. It was fun when I had one. You know what I mean? If your beer was stuck at the top of the hill, it'd all the snow then, your punters went and got it. You know, because everybody wants a point at, at, at the draft. Nobody wants to drink bottled beer when you go to a pub, do you? Let me have that all about. Right, anyway, we're going to attempt to do some rounds. And you're probably thinking, is this bloody cow going to shut up soon? Because I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, yeah, I'm shoot that bitch. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do, get a teaspoon, a little bit on the back. I'm just going to pop you down here. All right. And turn you that way because it makes it easier for me. See? See my little blobs? And all I'm going to do, oh, we can fit, oh, well, we can fit one more in there, I reckon. All right. All I'm going to do, I pat them down and go around but keep your flower handy and it stops the spoon from sticking to it and then you can start to decide oh excuse me one minute oh that was a deep breath right uh, there we go sorry about that anyway see these are actually looking a bit flapjacky they're like mini little flapjacks going on here seriously tyson stop beating my sofa up what is your issue with the sofa? Jesus. I will deal with that dog after I've done that. If he ends up in the oven and I end up putting him in a bloody um, finger roll and covering him with onions, don't worry about it. Anyway, so as you can see, I turn, turn your back around. You don't want to see my ugly mug. All right. You see? They're sort of round, you know? You just don't want that. You don't want too thin a bicky. That's all. See? And then if we just... Like, look, I'm trying to do this one-handed. It's not working out, is it? All right. Any, any, any chef watching this is probably cringing or turn, uh, thinking, what is she doing? Uh, well, I don't know. I just think it looks all right to me. It tastes good. So, flip you back. Hey. Right. Do you know what? I just wanted to say, actually, um, thanks, guys. I can't believe it. Uh, thank you so much for actually even tuning in. Do you know what I mean? Hey! Just joy to see you. Um, oh, that is, do you know what? Um, yeah, little things like that. I actually nearly cried in front of my client because he literally said yes. Hey! Um, it was, I so didn't expect him to say yes that my, I literally, um, welled up. God, that's a big biscuit. Right, what I'm going to do is, after I do these, don't worry, I'm not going to stay on there for 15 bloody minutes while we're cooking these. That's just not fair on you. Um, it, it's, you know, uh, that's just evil. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these in the oven. What I'm magically going to do is I'm actually going to pretty myself up a bit because I think you lot have actually, you know, I think you've had enough of this ugly mug. So I'm going to put a little bit of sparkle in myself. Um, I'm going to make my face look as happy as I feel inside. Yeah, and as wonderful as I feel inside today. Because, do you know what? I've had a lot of sh in the last, you know, over the years, and especially the last couple of months, and I was really starting to lose, um, I really started to lose confidence in myself, and I actually did think, what am I doing, you know, I've never been on social, um, I've never had a Facebook account, um, I've got not one friend, um, I know on my Insta account, in the sense that, there I went to school with or anything like that um everyone I've met I've met through mostly what I've done um I even through here I really appreciate it and some of the comments I've had from people when they've noticed the fact uh, I was a little bit down were really lovely and uh, it just gave me that little boost not everyone out there isn't um you know what I mean I met a lot of them you know, you'll start off nice, 
the Oof Star of Sweet. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm a full package, mate. I do DIY. As you can clearly see, I'm cooking my own food. You know, I'm a ready thing ago. I'm like jack of all trades, master of none. You know? Oh, no, I've got bloody door to fix at the moment. But it's, uh, it's flipping solid out. And the last time I tried moving, it really fell on me. So I don't really fancy that. So I have actually told my dad he is coming up to help me. Because he told me to do it myself. But anyway, now I've got this in. We're going to whack these in the oven, right? I'm actually going to do some more. I'm not going to do that with you because I'm glad. I, I'm Honestly, I'm over the moon that you lot have all stayed with me. And you lot have even tuned in to say hi. So, basically, these are going in the oven for 15 minutes. 15 minutes should be enough for me to make this look a bit more presentable. Um, um, thank you. <laughs> that was a big confidence booster there, you know. It's like pulling off the black bag. So, right, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to thank you very much. And then we're going to see these bad boys later, all right? I'll see you in a bit, guys. And thank you again. I really loved it. Take care. Bye.